Hi, I'm Jason Hall, and I'm um, with my friend David Goldie, who's handling the camera. We're going to go do a I'm right routine here. of uh, isometric stretching so that people can see what we do. So I stretch my... Oh, first thing. First things first, I did, already drank um, my smoothie. I drank about uh, I don't know, half a cup of that. So Looks I'll terrible, clean. but it tastes great. I'm clean inside, feeling good. So first thing I will do is just get some blood flow to my head. We just kind of discovered we like blood flow to the head, right, David? Yes, and we also like to keep a green smoothie sipping along with our stretching. And what we're doing is we're stretching for mobility and to drive pain out of our joints. But we discovered also the blood flow in and out. It helps to clean out things, and we discovered a little bit of mental clarity when we put blood into and out of our head. So we decided to do that first when our blood is clean without doing any excessive exercise. And now Jason's starting his stretching. Always go to the pain point and back off. You don't want to feel pain during this exercise. Well, we kind of discovered there was a lot of pain in the beginning, um, more so than when you uh, get good at it. Right, David? Yes, that is very true. And then the pain true. gets blasted out, and you can't even make yourself feel pain in the stretches anymore. It's really we're, quite fascinating. We're 15 weeks into this program. We do this once a week, and we make the smoothies, we drink the smoothie while we're stretching. We drink one sometimes before we start. Oh, I see my head looking all flushed. Look at all that blood <laughs> in the head. Okay, so starting from the top down, the head is done. Now I'll do the neck. So I'm going to stretch my head this way, hold it with my hand here, and then flex my neck into my hand. And I breathe in first. Push one. Six seconds. Six seconds hold. only. That's all it takes. Stretching to the point where I can feel it. Six seconds. Now he's done. He's been working on his neck and head muscles. And now you probably start you're starting to feel a little bit sharper because you got blood in your head. You know, it's hard to make sure I take the time to sort of just, you know, relax in between exercises. When I try to do this on my own, I, I rush through it too fast, I get out of breath. It's weird. Yes. And then I, I want to sit down, I can't do it, I get too tired. This is almost a combination of <laughs> yoga, stretching. And basically, that's about it. I call it isometric stretching. I explained it to my mom, and she said, it's like, oh, stretch flex. Yeah, you get into a stretch, and then you flex. Um, they also call it PNF stretching, but in PMF stretching, you they do another stretch at the end of it. And I don't really feel I need to do that. This is good enough. This is for driving. Nice and easy. This is for driving pain out of every joint in your body. So this is a twist. And it works. Holding it. Probably stretches that, that you've all seen many times, but never put them all together into one session. And the interesting thing about this is that you, in my case, uh, being disabled and having a, uh, f a false hip, I felt relief right away this is now within two weeks. Here's Jason going again. Six second hold, and that's all. He's slowly working his way down his body, if, if you notice that. So now the shoulders.
1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000, 6. <sighs> and always take those breaths and rest after each stretch. I'm going a little fast right now, aren't I, dude? Well, a little bit, probably for the camera. 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000, 6. Another thing to remember about these stretches is the fact that there are at least seven variations. Or more of every. Or at least exercise. seven or more yeah. on every single stretch we're doing. So we can mix it up each week, which yeah. we do. The front shoulder. Looks like you're feeling pain, but really you're not. I'm, I'm trying, but it, there's not really a whole lot of pain there anymore. I blasted most of it out. That's right. Um, I feel like I should do the side shoulder low, like this way. Jason tends to work a little more on his shoulders because he had <sighs> a shoulder problem. And I just that developed a kink and I'm working it out. Has been marvelous what it's done to his, his shoulder. But you all have to know the magic behind this program is that every age and every body condition can do this and you will feel better. And you have to have the green drinks or smoothies with the exercise. Yeah. It's we discovered, David, that if we did just isometrics, it was almost too much lactic acid buildup and it was creating a little uh, extra sorenesses and aches and pains that we discovered we really didn't need. So we backed off all isometrics and stuck only to isometric stretching and we kept all of the flexings down to six minutes six seconds or less. One more up here. <sighs> Boy, I'm just not able to really develop any sort of pain in my shoulders today. They're really feeling good. And everybody else has their own pace, and you work at your own pace. And usually it takes about 50 minutes to one hour to get through the entire stretching process, if you take your time. I'm going to do and that's the once shoulder twists. Why don't you walk up a week. closer, because I'm going to do shoulder twists against the wall. So right now I'm going to try and twist, and twist my hand out this way, so it's like the rotator. Very important how you hold your body. Watch Jason. 90 degrees that, that arm is. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 1,000, 5,000, 6,000. That was out. And this is in. He's using that wall to push his arm so in. I'm going like this and then just pushing it into the wall. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 1,000, 5,000, 6,000. Boy, I felt nothing that time doing that. I was as hard as I could. There this is, no stretch or this is what's happening after 15 weeks of doing this once a week. We now go through it and feel no pain. 1,000, Folks, when I started out, I'm 65, going to be 66 this year. I couldn't walk without a cane. An incredible pain. That one I felt a little bit right back in here. Just a little bit. So I know I'm working something out. It was nice. It was a little achy, but not bad. And now he'll back off from that. And now I want to do uh, shoulders out, both uh, rotations. So starting out this way. Now I'll just finish my story while he's pushing that wall. And the fact of the matter is... I don't feel any pain in any of my joints like I did before. None. Zero pain. One thousand, two thousand, three thousand, four thousand, 
Just a little something in there, I feel, this week. It's See how I'm Very important, your posture and the Ooh. way you hold your arms to do these exercises. That's where I'm the weakest yeah. in the shoulder. Okay. Working something out in there, and it's good. And, you know, the older people, such as myself, we will go at a, a slower pace. And uh, you too, the condition I was in, I know anybody can be pain free. If Jason is and I am at this point. Oh, yeah, we're so much pain out of my body, it's crazy. This truly is magical. Next, I'm going to do the lats, stretch the lats by pushing down into the back of this chair. Why don't you come over around on the side here, David? Otherwise, you'll all disappear behind the chair. And he's pushing down on that chair, as you can see his back Six. slightly arched. Six seconds. That's it. Doesn't take much. No, it doesn't. I felt no pain in that one whatsoever. Remember, it used to feel a little bit of stretchy and ouchies in here. All that is totally gone. This is week 15. Yeah. Next, uh, I guess, is chest. So I'm going to go on the floor. You want to uh, get back over here on the other side of me? Because otherwise you're going to be looking at the... Uh, the light. Okay, well, I gotta catch my breath. And we rest at, at intervals. Sit down, take a sip of your smoothie or water. Always the stay very muscles. hydrated. I'm gonna have a little bit more smoothie. Keep it clean. Jason likes to drink his out of a very small cup, as you can see. <laughs> so push up, one inch off the floor, six seconds is pretty easy. See, now we're getting to the middle part of the body. We used to do that for time. Remember, David? We yes. We'll hold that one for um, uh, up to 24 seconds or 24 breaths. And then we just decided, you know what, let's just back off the isometrics and just do the six stretching. Holds. Yes, yeah. stretch and hold. And I want to do a little bit more for my chest. So I want to see if I can push against this wall a little bit. We don't want to break what's working. Because I just want to get a better, better stretch and push. Now what are you working? Chest again. I'm trying to stretch. So we've only space. gotten down to the chest, folks. One thousand. We've never done this before, have we, David? No, that's a new one. It's a new that's one. a new very that's, that's a new variation. I like it. Good. Here I have to take this one off. I could figure I could get a good chest stretch and just do one chest muscle at a time by twisting and pushing against this wall. Because I can really stretch that chest muscle. I can feel it. Oh yeah, and that arm's way back, yeah. Good. The most important I feel thing. as if I'm getting a, 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 a deeper stretch than if I was doing a barbell across my chest because I'm able to go even further back. That mobility That's is nice. increasing. Yeah, I'm getting a better stretch here than if I would be at the gym. And remember, you guys out there, um, sure. you have a pace that's yours. Don't try to compete with anybody. There's, this is not a competition. This is strictly for bettering your health and your mobility and your pain-free body. So I've done chest and lats. I've done all my shoulders, so going a little bit further down, it's time for uh, belly. Belly, back. So the first belly one will be uh, Cobra. This is good. Decent. We may not show you the entire workout, but you're going to see all these different poses. This is a good one. 
But I have lower back and hip problems. So know. during that cobra, it wasn't just holding the cobra, I was actually trying to contract my stomach muscles while they were stretched. So now I'm going to do the back. Excellent. So I'm rounding. They always say don't ever lift with your lower back rounded, but then you never stretch it out. So I discovered I'm going to do something different than what they always tell you. And this is, I love this exercise. I blasted through 25 years of back pain with this exercise because I finally stretched out my lower back. I did that about last year. And that's when I really discovered that isometric stretches are really where it's at for me. And I've discovered I can do this exercise, which so, amazes me. I tuck my pelvis in forward, round my head down, getting a really good stretch around my whole spine. And I hold my hands out like this to create extra extra weight. But I discovered I can actually push up here as if I'm lifting a box. Jason's doing it a little bit vigorously, oh. I noticed today. I, normally, we're not quite as vigorous. Uh, now I've broken a sweat. I'm sweating. There you go. Whew. And they got me breathing. That's a hard one. It took me at least two months before I felt comfortable lifting up on the back of my knees like that. Before I would just, I would just round it out, hold my hands up. That's, that was intense. Remarkably, we're only about 17 minutes into this program. It takes about an hour. We've done 17 minutes already? And that, 17 minutes already. <sighs> and we're about a third of the way done with the body. Um, side stretches. <sighs> Very good. Oh, this is a good one for me and my back. Look at that flexibility. Now, he could only bend about half that distance when we started. Amazing. No pain there. I used to feel enormous pain mm -hmm. when I first learned about the side stretch and the Bikram yoga classes. Whew. I'm feeling pain from holding so the camera. much easy. Are you? <laughs> Just adjust your hands. <laughs> Hold it from beneath or something. I don't know. It's Russian Jewish humor. Okay, what's next? Uh, hips. I've done the core. Um, I could do more core, I could do planking, but again, you know, we stopped doing planking when we decided to do only isometric stretches. Yes. We cut out just isometric exercises. We can do that later. Yes. Right now, we just want to do the stretches, so that's it for core. Pretty easy, huh? I mean, I'm out of breath. Well, <sighs> and he pushed it, too. And I can go through this whole thing. Okay, so hips. There's four parts of the hips, so I'll start with the front hip first in a lunge. Good stuff for back, people with back problems and hip problems. Six seconds. Hip so problems. here we are. I'm going to push this back leg forward to work on the front hip. One thousand, two thousand, three thousand, four thousand, five thousand, six thousand. If you have a balance problem, hang on to something while you're doing this. Yeah, it is. rub that pain yeah. out of there. You it's can rub hardly any pain compared you, to where it used to be. It's you can rub that pain bit. out when you're holding your stretch. Rub that area that hurts. Adductors, make my feet go into the floor. Now he's gonna push his feet down. One thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand, six, one thousand. Mm. Boy, when I first did this one. It's so oh boy, we both were. And we only did this, we only started this about uh, four or five weeks ago. And now it's way easier. I remember that phone call the first morning. So now the side hips. So I do um, stretch it sideways like this, and I take the back leg and I push it into the floor. This is a good one. And if you have any hip pain during during that exercise, rub it. Get it hot. There you go. Excellent. 
I gotta breathe, man. Whew. You gotta rest. Every once in a while, so you go ahead and you just sit down for a minute, have a sip of your smoothie, water, whatever, wait for a little while after you've drank, then resume your stretch. This next exercise is gonna be just for the butt. Remember, David, when we first started doing this next one, we would hold it for time? Yes. And we would be so sore on our butt. That's right. And again, we backed off. We're like, you know what? We really don't need to do any isometrics, just the stretching. And it's gotten way easier. We're able to put more energy and time into stretching all the muscles rather than getting overexerted. Well, these last 15 weeks, this is a program in progress. Mm -hmm. And we are mastering things as we go along. Okay. Hips. Look at that angle, perfectly 90 degrees. I feel a little tightness in my uh, hamstrings. I think I need to work on, focus on those a little bit more today. Okay. So that's it, all, we did all sides of my hips. I did the front, the inner, the outer, the back. Um, uh, hamstrings and quads are next. So. And I know you're going through this uh, quicker because yeah. to show the folks uh, the different well, methods. Does it say the time on the recording? Tw yeah. What time are we at? 21.18. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're a little bit more than halfway done, but, you know, we'll see what we have left when we're done. I might go for a full 40 minutes. So he's about 10 minutes faster than he should be. <sighs> well, I'm breathing and sweating. <sighs> and the younger guys can do that. The older guys will take it a little easier. And girls. Four one thousand, five one thousand, six one thousand. Ooh, I feel this tightness oh, all over the yeah. quads here. It's good. Whew. Now we'll do the hamstrings. I'm gonna do the hamstrings in about three different exercises today, David. I think we're getting Jason's wife interested in this too. <laughs> How can you not be interested in something that makes you pain free? 6,000. Oh, just a matter of flexing that leg underneath and trying to push it into the floor while we're hold, while I'm holding the stretch. I'll try. It gets easier and next. easier, guys. These are big muscles. Yes, uh, they got me breathing. Whew. Look at that guy, he's sweating. Sweating. It's a warm summer day. It is, it's warm in here. And this Nine, is, what are you two, doing now? Three hundred thousand, four hundred thousand, five hundred thousand, six hundred thousand. Another hamstring stretch. Okay. See, there are so many variations that a lot of times I have to I'm ask him. He's tiring out. But the amazing thing about this is you recover immediately. You might get tired and, and be sweating, but you will get your strength back in just a minute or two. It's amazing. I can't think of any good other good... Uh, I think that really shows everybody... I think you're down to your uh, oh, um, legs side, now. Side twisties and um, glutes stretches on the ground. 
Ah, uh, yes. Very important. This one is excellent for me with my hip uh, replacement. But I have to be careful. Strengthening all those little muscles around the hip and the lower back. Extending them, getting mobility, driving pain out. Notice how he turned his head when he did that. Too. The glutes are big muscles. Okay, we'll go this way. He's laying, laying on the floor now. Pulling that leg over and loosening up that big uh, muscle, that glute. But don't push yourself into pain. Feel the pain back off a little. Yeah, I'm pushing it pretty intense, but I don't feel any specific pain. Like sometimes when I first started these, I would feel like one line of yes specific pain. Right now, it's overall general, the whole area, big muscle everywhere, uh, tightness that requires just a lot of strength to push into it. But I'm not, I'm not in any pain when I'm wincing. I'm just, I'm just pushing hard. Well, you know how good you're going to feel when you're done. That, that's. Let's try a couple more like the this. The whole basis. Notice he's pulling with his his hands as well as pushing up with his leg. I'm so limber on that exercise, but it, it's their big muscles. Whew. I'm gonna do another couple hamstring exercises here. Over here. So much you can do for your lower body by just laying down on a pad <sighs> and stretching. I really feel a bit of tightness in the back of my knee here. Like it's not fully stretched out. Oh, that's a good stretch. Uh, Do I look spent? Yeah, you look like you've gone through a good exercise there, my friend. I'm spent because I'm spent. Well, um, a half an hour, I think we showed the people. I'm not totally done yet, though. With a little bit of uh, intensity, I want you to know, folks, that usually this is not done with such intensity. We really... Some blood back in my head, so... And take I'm not done time. with the legs and feet yet, so... This is almost a cool down for Jason, I think. This is easy for me. But it's, it's stretching out my calf. It's good. I needed some blood back in my head. Don't get up too fast. I think I'm going to stretch my my calves hard this way because I can really stretch it good here. Ah, oh, so good for the feet too. Look at that. Ah, now I was already in this position, but I was flexing my hamstring last time. Now I'm flexing the toe. Mm -hmm. Same exercise, but entirely different approach to it. All right, David. That's it. Look at him flex those muscles in his arms when he's pulling on that foot. <sighs> it puts the tension through the whole body. But you know what? My back is a lot stronger now to even be able to do that. Remember that you saw the exercise I was doing bending over my back? 
I the, don't think my back would have been strong enough to hold hold the resistance that I just put into the toe hold. The beauty in this uh, form of exercise is everybody can do it. Yeah. All ages, all I mean, conditions. We're, I'm doing some more advanced exercises. Your your calves aren't quite as flexible to grip the toe like I just did. Oh, I've got a long it. way to go for flexibility, yeah. but I There's feel people improvement. Who can do stuff way more advanced than me, but. But when you're seeing improvement talking, every day. We're trying to, trying to show the principles here. So now, look sideways on my toes. I'm all the way up on my toes, really stretching out my arches. This is the one that we've really noticed. It's yeah, look, look, he's on his toes. This, that one, I would love that one. When I push my toes into the ground, I think I'm going to get a little bit of balance. I'm not worried about balance so much. But now I'm really getting off the ball of my feet onto the toes so it's both stretched and flexed. All that weight's on the toes. Mm. Mm. And he's just blasting the toxins out of all those little bones. I think that was more than six seconds. But, oh man, that felt good. We'll try one more with the top of the toes. We only just started this, like, last week or two weeks ago? Uh, a few weeks ago, actually. We've been working on the toes. 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000, 6. Ooh. Oh yeah, that one right there we just started a couple of weeks ago. Well, that's because yeah. we just discovered we should probably take our shoes off. <laughs> yeah, and and bend the toes the other way. One thousand, two thousand, three thousand, four thousand, five thousand, six. Oh, when I first started doing this, I'm like, oh yeah, here's the typical painful stretch because it hasn't been worked yet. So yeah, there are new areas of the body. And now, really, I can't think of any that are really painful. We push painful. the blood into and out of our feet. We like to do that. You told me you had some specific feet problems, so I'm like, well, let's just push our blood into and out of our feet to really make our feet feel good. Mm hmm Sorry, folks, for the wiggle on the camera. I could do that. And here we go, driving the blood where we want it. I actually refer to this as the cool down part of my exercise because after all my stretching is completed, then I start driving the blood um, Dave, in, what, in and out of the feet and head. What did you feel in your toes when we first started doing this? Not tremendous numbness. Tremendous numbness in your toes when you put your toes in the air. Huh? Yes. Right. And, and then and then what happened? Oh, what, about the weeks developed. <laughs> About three weeks after into, uh, we were into it, yeah. it was gone. And what did you notice about your toes, generally speaking, before we started this and then after? Like, they they hurt. Life? I didn't have any mobility in them. Uh -huh. Now I have three times the mobility mm -hmm. that I had. Uh -huh. And I also have no pain. No pain when walking in your feet? Like That's correct. You used to have pain? Yes. So you used to walk with a cane? Yes. 